Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You know when I go out. You know when I lay down at night. Psalm 139. Hey, hello everybody, it is me, Austin16. Welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day, and if not, I'm always praying for you. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. What happened to all your money? And why do you not have as many booze? Well, you see, what had happened was I ended up uh, resetting my computer without transferring the save file to somewhere else. And I lost my file. But I ended up finding another file online. And now I am working with that one. So I don't have to play the game over again. So that's good. But I will eventually off camera, I guess, go collect the rest of the booze. But for now, I am right where I left off. From last time so let's just go ahead and start this episode of Luigi's Mansion in the last episode we ended up actually uh, clearing off area 2 and we uh, defeated Bogmire which was the boss of area 2 and apparently he was an energy manifested from the uh, the fear of the mansion so I guess you could say, like, I guess Luigi's fear or Mario's fear or whatever, whoever's fear or something like that. It was created and manifested from that, which is pretty cool. It's very spirit ghost adventure thing. But we're now going to go into the next area. And now, as you can see, the hallway is no longer dark on the first floor, which is awesome. No more booze. No more ghosts to jump out at us for now. Um, <laughs> you'll see. But here is the door to the next area that we're about to be going to. Can you feel it? Can you feel the energy being warped out? And there we go. The door has no more spikes. And now we can unlock it and see what's behind door number two. All right, here we go. Oh, wrong button. Here we are. Unlock it very slowly. And turn the knob. And... We're outside. We're in the courtyard. A very, very haunting music. I've honestly really liked this, uh, like this spot. The music, the atmosphere is very nice out here in the courtyard. <clears throat> very spooky-like, but but also kind of romantic in a way. We can actually, uh, ow. We can actually get water from this fountain. And if we water the plants, money will come out. <laughs> money might not grow in trees, but it does grow in plants. So I thought about it a little bit, and I feel like with the money that I have lost from the last A file, I think I'm going to add up whatever we had last time, you know, in the area three, and then add up whatever we get from now on. So by the end of the game I will just add up you know what I um, feel like would have been the money that we ended up with uh, we are now at the well at the courtyard and if you listen closely you can hear someone screaming I wonder who that could be <laughs> we're about to As find we head out. down this well the bottom of the well <laughs> the BF I'm guessing you can already tell. for the basement floor and, oh. and here we are. What is this? Mario! Get me out of here! Mario! 
Mario is trapped in a painting. How dare you? Secret altar. King Boo has got Mario trapped in a painting. How ironic. Mario's always going through paintings and now he's trapped in one. Well, we know where Mario is now. He is in the basement floor. Now we just gotta find a way to get there. At least we know he's alive. Ooh, I just fell out. What was that? Oh. You found Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. Huh. Where was that at? Was it in the birdhouse? Must have been in the birdhouse, right? Coins. All right, gather all these things. Get so many ghosts out here. All right, we have this little outhouse looking thing right here, or porta potty. And there goes Toad. He's weeping. Let's see what he's out about. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion looking for a place to hide. While I was running, though I did happen to notice Mario left him. Things lying around to place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five items all together. I'd go collect them if I could remember where they were. Maybe you could have collected them while you were there. Yeah, I probably should have picked them up. Goodbye, Toad. How dare you? You're a true Mario brother. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Toad, you should have definitely collected the items. But I overgive you. Yeah, hey. Okay, thank you so much, Luigi. And thank you, Toad, for a saving file. Hopefully we don't lose this one. Ooh, what are we at? We're in a gym. A rec room. Ah, oh, blue ghost! Blue ghost, come here, come here, come here! Oh, 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 stop running, stop running! Oh, yes! I thought for sure I was gonna lose that one. Whew. That was close. I completely forgot that one was there. Oh. But all right, let's take a picture of this uh, gym head. Look at this buffness. I'm huge. How do you like to be my punching bag, weakling? Huh. Punching bag, do you say? Let's punch this bag. <laughs> Who's the weak like now? Chad? Hiya! What you gonna do about it? <laughs> he has windy arms. He's knocked out. Down for the count. Here we go! Come on, come on, Chad. Giga Chad, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, yes. 51, 50. Oh, avoid that mushroom. 30, 20. No! We should have had him. How did he get out? How did he get out? That's a bummer. Well, we didn't get gold on him. There's actually a little secret right here. I've always been a good runner. There's actually a secret right here with this treadmill. And if you run on it, after Luigi says that he's a good runner, you can run on it. You keep on running, running, running. And a key was in the treadmill. I'm not sure how that happened, but 
So there we go. It is now a key to the uh, first floor hallway. So now is a much easier way to get back and forth from the first hallway over to this hallway as we are about to actually go to the second floor, I believe. Could be the third floor. Yeah, I think it's the second floor. Yeah, we're about to go to the second floor after we get this Boo, whose name is Booregard. And he has a hundred life. Yeah, this is when they start getting a little bit more tedious with the boos and their lives. But we got them. We got them. There we go. And we got a lot of cash. And a diamond. Nice. All right, we got all this money, so that means there's no key in this room, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. And now we can just go ahead and unlock this area right here, so we don't have to worry about it. Yep, it's just right here, right outside of this door is the first floor once again. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a heart from one of these vases, because I got a little bit damaged fighting Chad. There we go. And now we can head up. Some stairs for once. Actually, no. We've been up some stairs before. I lied. But we are now heading to the second floor. Oh. This room's on fire, apparently. Good thing I had some water on me. Okay. Ooh, we got a... What is this room? Here we got a bucket of ice. A tea room. All right. This is the room where I guess everyone has tea, specifically. No other drinks, just tea. And we got some of these hugging ghosts. Looking very uh, nice colored. Ooh, it's on the table. Huh, but I can't jump in this game. What is that on the floor? I'm gonna look around for the boo first. Oh, we got a ruby. Nice. All right, let's look around for some more booze. Yep, there's a treasure chest on the table. We can't jump in this game. And there's a th weird circle thing on the floor over there. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Boo jangles. Bow jangles. Is that copyright? They're talking about the restaurant, Bojangles, or Boojangles. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Now let's test this out, and we are on the wall. Now we can get the, the ceiling. That's a good way to uh, watch the ceiling and the chandelier. Now we can open this, and we got elemental metal. See, we got the fire metal, we've got the water metal, and we got a bucket of ice right there, so I'm just assuming that it's the ice metal. Yep, there we go, ice element, our metal. Now we can use ice elements. Ice, ice, baby. Have an ice day. Now we can get some cold places. My research shows that if you use the L button to expel ice element once you vacuum one of these, and you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot a fridge lamp of ice or lump of ice. Yes, sir. When the water gets cold, it freezes, right? Ice can be very effective against water. You could use it. And on water ghosts, for example, even a hot bath would get cold pretty quick if it iced down. Yep. Huh. Very, very spe specific thing to say for a hot bath. 
but let's go now into hallway number two on floor two. This is the uh, floor hallway, or floor number two hallway. And this guy has a bowling ball and he just hit me with it. How dare you? Oh, good thing we got a heart in the vase. Nice. Got so many mice and dollar bills. Stop flapping around. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. We don't have any keys to go in any rooms, but these rooms over here are not locked. Anyway, so I guess we can just go ahead and go inside of them. All right. Yep, they're not locked. Oh, another heart. Ah! Oh. He has a fire ghost. I need some water to cool him off. Ice won't work. Oh my gosh, is someone taking a shower? I'm sorry, miss. I did not mean to intrude on your shower time. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to do this. Is Professor Egad is making me do this. You are not how the silhouette looked. Ah, piping hot shower. After you just spit on me or whatever. Now if we put some ice in the water, it will be cold and she'll shiver and now we can capture her. Yep. It's stuff like this where I'm like, I, I question Professor Ega. Oh, come on. Not the poison mushroom. Making Luigi sound like a chipmunk. Well, we got a freezer again. And we got the 55, so we should get it pretty easily from here on. Man, that poison mushroom messed me up. Now I got two silver plaques or frames. That is a small treasure chest. Hey, a key. And that is all the way down to floor one again. All right, let's go down, back to floor one, and enter this room over here. And now we have a much easier way. We don't have to go through the courtyard every single time. Believe me, that my first couple of playthroughs, I did not know that there was a key inside the treadmill, so I had to go through the courtroom, or the courtyard, the courtroom, the courtyard every single time. Because I didn't know there was a key in the treadmill, but eventually I found it out. And it's been a lot more convenient. Oh, there's a guy playing pool. I had a pool table once. We could never get it leveled right, but it was still fun. Is a nice picture. Oh, that's not what I meant to take a picture of. Let's see your heart, dude. You want some of this? Yes. I think I do. All right, tough guy. Let's hit you with one of your pool balls. Hopefully you don't get a scratch. There we go. We got him three times. And now we can suck him up. Come on, man. I'm sorry to hustle you, but we just had to. Ah, uh, what the heck? Not again. Man, area three has really kicked my butt so far. But let's go ahead and get him in. Man, you just, this guy. Come on, come on, come, what? Come on, bro, get in here. This is possibly going to be a bronze. What is wrong with me today? Oh, at least I got a diamond. A few gold bars. Mm. 
Now we gotta search for this boo. Boo-hoo. Yep. Boo-hoo after getting a bronze on a pool guy. All right, let's uh, get some dollar bills from this fan up here. Hopefully. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Now we can enter into this side room, which is a projector room. A projection room. In this room, ever since 2016 or 2017, when it, uh, the movie It came out with Pennywise, the uh, newer one, it's always reminded me of that movie because I'm pretty sure they have like a projection room scene. And ever since the movie came out, that's all I can think about when I come in here. Especially with that boo thing now, if you uh, stretch it back with the vacuum, that thing comes out and says, get out of here. The word's kind of blurry. Ah, we got some uh, hugging ghosts. Purple ones this time. We got to see them through the shadow projectors. Or see their shadows through the projector and the lights. Oh no, get off me. Okay, come on. Nice. Let's see if it goes back. I think it's a lot easier to spot them when the boo thing is not up. Oh no! This is a small room. Oh no, get off me! Ow! Stop! Alright, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Alright, we got one more, I believe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the lights are on. All right. Where's the boo? Oh, not the boo ball. Get out of here. Are you in the speaker? Are you in this speaker? Are you back in the closet? Oh, he's in the projector table or whatever. What? Okay, Oop. come on, come on. Shamboo. Get in my vacuum. Nice to meet you, Shamboo. Oh, Mario's glove. Or it could be Luigi's glove. They have the same gloves. It's Mario's glove. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. We are gathering Mario's items one by one. All right, we can head back upstairs now. I made sure to get some water on the way because we need to water up that ghost that's in the bathroom. That's on or the fire ghost that is in here. Get out of the toilet, sir. Let me hose you down. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. All right, nothing else in the toilet, is there? Hope there's not any dung in there. There we go. We got some more money from that treasure chest. And we got a gold bar. Alright, we can leave now. Alright, let's check it out. The room, there's a room right next to here that doesn't require a key to get in. And I'm about to go in there. There we go. This is Nana's room. For some reason, I thought that this room required a key, but I guess not. I bet those would fall if I gave them a good shake. What? Nana? Oh, the balls. The yarn? Looks like yarn. All right, Nana, what you got to say? Hey, it's a funny man. I should play with him. Okay. Let's play ball, Nana. See, she's, she's a sweetheart. She just wants to play with Luigi. What a chair. That is a cool chair, miss. You don't even have to get up. Oh, oh dang it. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, uh, if you miss, if you miss one of the balls, she uh, disappears. And I believe you have to go back outside the room and then enter in again. So let's do that. Mario. Yep, the chair reset. This is a, this is a pretty cool boss, uh, or pretty cool portrait ghost. <laughs> Where if you miss, you got to go back outside and retry again. Ow! Ow! What the heck? Ah yeah! It's okay, Nana. Ow! These things keep tripping me. All right, here we go, and boom! Get in the vacuum, Nana! I promise I won't hurt you. It it'll be less painful this way. Come on! Ah, uh, what the heck? I can't get not one gold frame this game or this episode. All right, Nana, we don't have to do it again. Thankfully, we do not have to do the yarn ball again. And Nana is now safe and sound, and now probably snoozing in the vacuum. Oh yeah. A key. That is to the second floor. Ah. Huh. I think that's uh, the same. I think that's what that one room next to the next to Chauncey and you know the family goes. So I think I'm actually going to end since that is the next one. I'm going to probably end the video pretty soon, right here. Just checking for the boo first. Oh, there's a moldy book. Will you read it? What a hilarious trick I played on Miss Petuna. She jumped into the bathtub after I filled it with ice. Oh. Oh, from the freezer. She actually started shivering pretty badly, and I felt a bit guilty for a sec. But Miss Batuna is made of solid stuff. She took a hot shower and felt like new again. Once she warmed up, she wasn't even that mad. Nana. Okay, I guess that was supposed to be like on how to defeat the woman in the bathtub, which to uh, Professor Egad has already... Give us a hint for that anyway. I believe this boo's name is Lim Booger. Booger. Lim Booger. I could be wrong on that. <laughs> Only saw it for a second. All right. So I think, uh, oh, I didn't check the ceiling. Oh, it's just art. No cash. All right. I think it is time to go back to the foreigner and end the episode. So let's go there. Whoa. It's gotten a little better. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Luigi's Mansion. Episode 6 is now done in the books. To do a quick recap, we started off by entering into the courtyard, where we then stumbled down a well and found Mario trapped in the painting due to the hands or the ghostly hands of King Boo. Uh, it's a bit ironic, once again, that Mario is stuck in a painting. And then we captured a whole bunch of portrait ghosts. I got my boat whooped this time. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any <laughs> golden frames in this. In the next episode, I will try to read some more of these portrait ghosts. But this has been Austin 16. God bless. Peace out. I'll see you next time.